Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we got this query which says write a program to get item details like code, description and price of the item for multiple items from the user and create a file by writing all the item details in one go. Okay, so let us start with this. So first of all we are going to make a csv file so we have to import csv module then what we will do we will open the file as for example item name like items.csv and in writing mode obviously <laughs> Then what we're going to do is simply get like item writer. Then we have to use the writer function in that CSV dot writer, which will simply write in F or so called items CSV file. F is the variable which it will write in so for their own we can simply execute this code by two logics either we can ask the person how much times you want to enter the details of a particular person or for example of different items so like we can ask how much items the person wants to enter data about or rather we can just simply um, declare a variable which would be like for example choice of the person and it will simply have like if choi choice equals y then we can make a while loop here, which would be simply, com uh, which would be simply operating on this one, which would simply say while choice equals equals y, and then at the end of that one, every time at the end of the loop, we have to ask the person to enter the choice to enter the choice again and again, or rather than we can simply ask how much times do you want to enter so we can use any of it that's not a big problem now for the own for example right now I'm using for I in range and then n so that this runs only this much number of times so yeah then what we will do would simply be item name or item code um, like try to say item code then we would get an input input the item code is then Further on, we have to ask for description. Oh, by the way, from description, I remember something. I always post the code in description. So many people ask me, like, where's the code? Do you check out the description? So please check out the description to get the whole code. And if you're too impatient, you can directly jump to the end part to get the code and get off the video. But I would suggest you to watch the whole video so that you can understand how this code is written and get the logic of this one okay so here we would ask about description of the code then further on what we want to check is the price so we would simply ask about the price 
of the item, so priors or the item. Yeah. No. We could simply make, for example, item record named list right here, which would simply contain like it has item name then what it has is description or more than item name I would say like item code description then it has the price so yeah, you, we can simply append these all variables into this list and then it would get written using item writers function of write rows. If you are using multiple, then obviously we will need write rows. We cannot simply ask it or rather than we can simply do it like use a right row at the end of every loop so yeah that's that's what's going on with the code so let me get it like item record dot append which would simply append in the form of list the item code comma the description of the item and the price not the print the price the price okay further on if we move right there so we could simply say like uh, item right here to make to get a function named as right rows and simply right all the rows from item record list then it would simply close the program yeah not a big problem this is the approach number one for this query now the second approach would contain of choice based while loop program choice variable based while loop program we're going to complete that one too so rather than this one we just simply get this out and that program would be simply like would simply copy that program right approach to approach one then we would simply do that and it would be like we have to clear the whole line right there we clear the whole line then what we're going to do is simply get a choice variable then we will run the while loop while loop right here so here it would be simply like while loop choice equals equals y then while loop will continue so then we have to ask loop Every time, when if we end the program based on while loop, so we would simply getting while getting out of the while loop, we would simply ask warning continue why or no why or n then. Simply it would be like 
Yeah. Then we could simply like do this one. Simply write all the rows by getting it executed multiple times. Or even while doing this we can simply change it again we can get like right row get it inside while loop it's not op always a good option to do but still we can do it and because it will simply be an easy one so I guess right now this code is completed, the approach to. So we got two approaches to get this query solved. I hope you guys liked my video. Please subscribe to my channel, share my video. Any queries, ask me in the comments. I'm always ready to answer to your queries.